was a little dusty. A little hard to drift with one hand. Ding dongs, finally doing some car mods again. Full cooling system overhaul. New uh, thermostat housing. I got these plugs for covering the uh, heater core hoses. Got aluminum radiator, brand new coolant, coolant flush, some gasket maker, and a new one of these that isn't cracked. All right here. Mine, this is cracked, so my ignition coil just dangles. First thing we gotta do is flush all the coolant. Oh, water, that's all that's in there right now. So I'm gonna flush all the water, and then I'm gonna put the flush cleaner thing in there, drive it around a little bit, get it hot, get it cleaned out, and then come drain it again, and then maybe drain it a couple more times with some water, and put coolant in it. And then a new radiator as well, so let's get started flushing this thing. It open. Um, I literally had to poke a hole through it because it wasn't draining. I took the nut out completely, nothing came out. There was literally like a film of nastiness completely plugging the hole. So this has never been opened in 30 years, dude. That is so gross. The first few drips that came out were like completely brown, but now it looks like it's clear water. But yeah, I need to clean this some more. This is nasty. Oh, the camera's getting all wet. Oh yeah. Yep, now to do the other side. Freaking cock of water for days, dude. Ugh. This one wasn't completely clogged. So it started draining as soon as I took the belt, bolt out. Here's the two bolts. I think they're brass. So I got all the plugs in. Uh, radiators capped, all that. Now we're just gonna Fill it up. I know I just felt raindrops. Probably just a giant air bubble somewhere. So, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we're good. Whew. 
ass load of, cool, uh, of uh, air in the system, so the, that's why the sensor just gets super hot, because this pipe is barely warm, so... We're chilling at 206 now. I just remembered I have sea foam. I'm going to run this through it. So I'll just hold my hand. for about an hour. It's all cooled off now. We're going to proceed with draining it all again. Remove the radiator, remove basically everything I'm changing. So. Everything's disassembled, everything's drained, so now all I'm going to do is put all the new stuff on, so new uh, thermostat neck thing, these, these are silicone HPS, instead of the rubber ones I have now, so this is where the heater core lines used to be, I used to have them looped, but apparently you're not supposed to do that, and when I did change them, it reduced my coolant temp by 4 degrees, so it did something better. So those are going to get replaced. And then also remove all the coolant lines right here. So remove the throttle body coolant lines. Shit. Oh, thank God. It's right here. God damn it. Second time I almost dropped this. Alright, so I made these two little plugs. These will plug up the lines back there. Those two lines. Those two lines go up here, 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 and around, and through there. So, I may I took a bolt that fits very tightly. I cut it and then I put some cool, uh, you know, the sealant in there, and just shoved them in. I'm gonna put some spring clamps on these, install them, and we'll be good to go. Here's everything done. See, there's the little. So here's the one little plug, here's the HPS plug, no more lines going under the throttle body, see it comes out here, that's gone, it's gone. Someday I'll probably chop them off so they're even cleaner. So see then it wraps around here, then it would go through the EGR and then it would go back in there. So that's all gone, everything's on tight, everything's clamped, it's kind of a pain in the ass to reach stuff, my hands are all cut up. We can start planning how to mount that to that because my brackets, my old ones, they don't really match up. I'm just going to test fit everything right now, see how it fits, and yeah, we'll start making some sort of bracket. Let's see, there's only mounting hole, there's some bolts right here, there's one right here, there's a couple on the bottom, so let's, uh, let's try to fit this in, see how it looks. I'm going to weld this guy first. See if I can get this welded. If not, old one's probably going to go back in. Or maybe I'll just thread a bolt in here. So let's see if I can get this welded. And then get it back in there. Swap the, the O-ring over. And uh, should be good. Alright, so I spent way too much time on this. I welded that. I was able to weld that metal, that uh, steel pipe that's inserted into the aluminum. 
this is back in, put some gasket maker on this, put a little bit of gasket maker on that, put the new o-ring on. I think that will be it for today. I'm just going to put the new plastic housing on this and we'll be good to go. Look how much cleaner it looks. No more lines here, no more lines there. Looks so much better already. Let me show you how much I removed. That's all the hoses and lines I removed. Most of them. See that? It's all gone now. Be back tomorrow and we'll do the radiator and everything else. Well, it's not been a good week. It's been raining every single day. It's already Wednesday, July 1st. And I haven't touched the car in three days because it wouldn't stop raining. And as you can see, my garage is kind of packed. So I couldn't push it in there. What's left to do now is make a bracket for this guy, for the fan. Alright, so here's how the fan currently sits. It doesn't fit, so it's a little too tall, which makes sense because the end tanks or whatever you want to call them, the bottom and top of this radiator are bigger, so the actual core, whatever you want to call it, is smaller. First I'm going to trim it just so it fits inside of this. There we go. Perfectly fits. I'm gonna get some high temperature like sticky foam to put in between the gaps because right here there's some big gaps because this dips down and then the fans come up. All the brackets are cut. Now I just gotta grind everything down, start welding it, then make it look pretty. Holy shit, it's 1015. Alright, I'm gonna finish this tomorrow then. I got the day off tomorrow. I, I think I figured out why my power steering keeps making noise still. The steering rack is leaking. So... Ordered power steering rack rebuild kit. <laughs> it's gonna be another video. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. This is uh, this has been productive. I like this good stuff. Be right back. I'm back day three. Let's uh, weld these brackets on. Not much else to say. Just gonna weld it all up. Get it in the car. Then we can fill the coolant, bleed it, go for a drive.
Got all the brackets. Made a wind chime. It sounds beautiful. So yeah, this uh, project's done. Wind chime complete. Just kidding. I'm obviously gonna paint it. I know I'm extremely funny. Alrighty, I changed Sylvia's oil. These pieces are dry. Let's get everything installed and blood. I'm probably just gonna end up using hose water this time. I don't really care. Can it be that bad? I mean, it's like the same water you drink, just a little bit more filtered or less filtered. Get the radiator in, get that mounted to the radiator. I'm probably not gonna make any holes to the, I'm just gonna use them as like clamps. That's how it was installed last time, so it should be okay now. there right there I need to trim those a little bit there. see that yeah all right I'm gonna grab the angle grinder zip that off a bit it's trimmed the angle grinder takes care of everything let's put it back in again let's see how it fits this time That is in. It's solid. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. Sweet. So now we can uh, run the lines, put the overflow back in, and fill her up. Alright, well, some shit just went down. Today I learned that... <laughs> The idle air coolant lines are connected to the intake. The throttle body is not, but the idle air are. So I was filling up the water, and it just started pouring out of both of them, just, psh, just both directions. So then I cut a piece off, cut two pieces off, both there, both there, and uh, it should be good. I'm gonna order some silicone plugs, same ones as the back, just smaller obviously, and should be good. All that's left is to start it, I think. I'm not sure if there's leaks or if it's just dripping because I spilled a bunch of coolant here. Okay, let me go grab the key and we'll start it up. And I'm really scared. This is bubbling. Everything in the back is dry. I didn't mention this. I replaced this fuel line that was bent. See this one right here, the crossover line? This thing was bent like hell. It was like, there I got, I still, I still have it. Look at that. What in the fuck? It's a fucking brake line with pressure fittings? What the hell, dude? The previous owner was an absolute fucking madman. Also got a new valve cover. This mine is cracked right here. See that crack? So. It keeps leaking oil right there, which is annoying because I redid everything and it still leaks. I don't have time to finish this today, so we're going to Lake House again for 4th of July, so I'll come back to this another day.
That was so sick. I'm back from Michigan and I come home to this. I'm fucking dead. I'll be back tomorrow. But I should be getting this done. Cause Sully's fucking leaving this Friday. Today's Sunday. So I gotta get this done in five days. It's finally good. No more problems. All I needed was another bleed, so bled the system some more, and it's fine now. I also found a leak underneath the thermostat housing underneath the yellow. Oh, what's this? <laughs> the Tesla's at the fucking classic car show. That's pretty funny. I should just roll in. I'm gonna go drive to some. Uh, Mexican locations and uh, get a couple shots and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. It's still not perfect. It's still running a little hot. So my plan is to get a thermostat that is OEM and possibly a lower temperature one. And then I need to get a proper expansion tank. This is just an overflow tank. So my system gets like super crazy pressurized. Like you can't even squeeze this pipe. It gets so tight. That will hopefully bring the coolant level down a little bit because I have a feeling that the radiator is cooling the thermostat too much. I don't know if that's possible, but it could be. So we'll see. I'm going to go to the dealership, get an OEM thermostat because the one that I have looks completely different from OEM ones that I've seen. That's going to be it. Now I'm going to be doing this guy all week. The only thing that sucks is it's like 95... 97 degrees every single day. It's horrible. It's so hot. It sucks. So thank you everyone watching and subscribing. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which is crazy. Hope you're enjoying the content. It's a lot more work to be done. I'm excited to get this car looking good. That's going to happen soon. We're going to make this thing look good. Not just this pile that it is right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. America, America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your job?